Hello friends, uh, welcome to Coding Manasa channel. Today I'll be telling you about MRSA, MSSA coding guidelines along with Zika virus. So, see here, MRSA means uh, methicillin resistant cephalococcus aureus. If uh, infections like sepsis or pneumonia are due to MRSA, we have a combination code that is uh, for sepsis due to MRSA code A41.02, pneumonia due to MRSA code J15.212. When you are, uh, when there is a combination code, we should never give B95.62, that is MRSA infection, as a cause of diseases classified elsewhere. Then never code uh, G16.11. It's all because uh, it already sta states methicillin resistant. So never co give this code uh, uh, whose description is resistance to penicillin as additional code. Okay. Never give this resistance to penicillin as the code itself tells methicillin resistance cephalococcus aureus. That if current infection is like wound infection, stitch abscess or UTA, urinary tract infection is caused due to MRSA. Then we code B95.62. This disease is classified elsewhere is nothing but wound infection, stitch abscess and UTI examples. Then MSSA and MRSA colonization. Uh, what is said to be? A carrier. A carrier is nothing but carrying MSSA or MRSA uh, on or inside the body without necessarily causing illness. Okay. If a patient comes in for MRSA test and if the test is uh, found to be, turn out to be screen positive or nasal swab positive is documented, then we give Z uh, 22.322 for uh, carrier, suspected carrier of MRSA. And if it is MSSA, the code Z22.321. Am I clear on MRSA and MSSA colonization? Uh, how we have to give codes when we have to give codes Z codes and when we have to give uh, this uh, A code, J code and B code. Okay. Then coming to Zika virus. Zika virus, or we, like HIV, we code the only confirmed cases of Zika virus, right? So here also, uh, we code only confirmed cases of Zika virus and the code is A92.5. If a uh, patient is coming for the Zika virus test and if it is found to be negative, then give the code G20.821 that is contact with or suspected exposure of Zika virus. Never code rule out suspected or um, you know probable condition uh, except in inpatient. As per inpatient guidelines, we code uh, probable suspected condition, right? So this is all about MRSA, MSSA and Zika virus. Okay, stay tuned uh, for the next topic is uh, coronavirus infection coding uh, in uh, medical coding. Okay, stay tuned. I am coming with uh, uh, the video. Uh, hope this is uh, clear on MRSA, MSSA and Zika virus and you made a note of uh, it. Uh, thanks for liking, sharing and commenting on my videos. Uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.